Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today's video is a special one, as today marks one year of my account. That's right, today is October 14th, 2017. October 14th, 2016 is when I started. Yeah, it's it's been quite a while, quite a journey. So I'm just going to do a little overview, kind of the equivalent of a bank video or or whatever you want to call it, uh, just to show what all I've done on my account. And for those that aren't really interested in watching all of my older content, especially the stuff with, you know, low production value, or where my mic doesn't sound that great, or some of the early episodes that, uh, well, I didn't really know how to make clips and stuff, so it was like an hour long per week. Um, yeah, this will be for everybody else. I'll also make this the trailer for my channel to, to all new viewers. What's up? How's it going? Uh, anyway, this is my Iron Man, Iron underscore Llama X. You can see I took off the overlay that I might normally have up because I don't want to spoil anything, but you can see here is my total level, total XP, 761,221,000, which means I can put it back on. Bam! That's what it normally looks like. And really, I should edit that. 761. There we go. Alright, you can see um, 112 Slayer, uh, 114 Mage is a level I'm pretty proud of as well. And uh, 120 DG, 129 Invention. Everything else is uh, 99 or 100. There's actually only a few things left at 99 now. Uh, everything else is getting up into the virtual levels. And uh, I've done quite a bit of achievements. I did comp at one point, which was nice. It's something I'm working back towards, uh, thus the Slayer. Uh, you can see here, 12,000 rune score total. Uh, I'm not going to do any zooming or anything like that on this video, uh, so sorry if you expected that. It's just, I'd rather uh, leave everything open. So, I'm gonna turn on list mode and unhide completed. Yeah. Let's go back through everything. So, uh, yeah, I've done all of the skill stuff, of course, except for level 120 in Slayer. Uh, exploration. Bam, I've done everything except for Minifos and, like, two of the clan things right here, which are... Yeah, I should really go do that at one point just to get these two knocked off. Uh, then, combat. I've done a few of these. Uh, I haven't really gone out of my way to do it. You can see a lot of these are just about boss kill count. Uh, which I picked up just by chance. Got some boss pets, 3 out of 46. Uh, done a few of the raid feats, I think. Have at least one Gobi survive the fight. Uh, defeat Durzag without opening any of the cages. That's a pretty simple one. And, um, yeah, I'll just scroll over everything here so you guys can see it. Defeat AOD without anybody damaging Blood Reavers. That's interesting. I didn't know I did that one, actually. And then I've got a few of these done as well. I didn't actually defeat Krill with a Willow weapon. That one was bugged at the time. But I got it anyway. Alright, and uh, everything else. These aren't done, of course. But into Completionist. I've done everything. Everything in its entirety. Except for 120 Slayer. Uh, the last two quests that I need to do, which are the two uh, late Minifos ones, uh, are Man in the North and Fight Club. I uh, have a few music tracks to get as well, those being from those two quests and uh, from Magister. And I have to kill Magister once for the Reaper, which I will do pretty soon. Go on to Trim Comp. And I haven't really done anything. Uh, you can see a lot of this stuff down here. It's just by chance, like I did Temple Trekking because I thought that was a comp requirement, but I guess it's a Trim one. Uh, complete all court cases. Upgrade the Thieves Guild. Uh, pretty simple stuff down here. And then I've done a lot of the Master Quest Cave. Actually, about half of it. Yeah, just slowly scroll through this. Not that much special in here. A lot of it's from uh, from DG or stuff you do during quests anyway. Or, uh, you know, if you can run around and get extra XP rewards from a quest, then I probably did it. Yeah, and then, uh, of course, all of the Arc Quests unlock access to the abyss yep all right and i'll just show yes those are the only two quests i have remaining everything else is done 
love seeing the green. I'll go on to uh, boss kills now. Uh, so I've only got 4,500 boss kills. That's really not that many, uh, but that was because I was mostly focused on skilling throughout uh, this series so far uh, on this account. Uh, some of the notable kill counts, I guess, would be uh, GWD1, 800 Criara, 660 Krill, 687 Gerardor, and uh, where's the last one? Ziliana, I didn't do that many. Where is it at? 46. So, yeah, not that much. Uh, but most of that stuff comes from GWD1. And we've got 271 Araxor, 290 Barrows, which is where I finished the uh, Barrow, uh, the Mauritania Diary uh, thing. Sadly, the collections came out after Barrows Brothers, uh, after I did the Barrows, so I'm um, going to have to go back and get everything again if I want to complete that collection. Uh, up to just under 500 Dagonoth Kings. That's just something I work on uh, on the side. Uh, whenever I get tasks, sometimes I'll go do an hour of them just to work towards the boss pets if I want to go for IFB. Uh, and then like 200 QBD, 330 Vindicta. And uh, only other thing I think is Gregorovic that I have a bit of, uh, 274. And then uh, I can show off Slayer Creature Kills. It's 55 and a half thousand. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Only really the good tasks though. So Ascension Creatures, 7200. Uh, Dark Beasts, 6700. Abyssal Demon, 6500. Yeah, you guys get the idea. And onto the bank. Now, oh. Gotta cover this up, actually. I believe I have something for that. Alright, there we go. Ended up getting a phone call anyway, so I was able to cut the clip. But, here we are. The messy, unorganized first tab. Uh, yeah, there's, there's not much special to show here. Really, I should put this in that tab, and I'll sort that out later. Um, we just got a lot of prawn ball stuff up here, which kind of stacks up. I got tired of just throwing it on the ground all the time, so I just banked it. Um, you know, crystal flasks, potion flasks, uh, dwarven stout mature that I get from thieving at Treyhern. Another thing, I just, whatever, I'll bank it. Uh, 78k harmonic dust, which has actually been decreasing over time. Um, it's funny. I uh, got some siphons, augmenters, fishing rod, omatics, my feathers, uh, my Ushapti, soften them, Slayer Dungeon Teleports, Slayer Codex. Let's go through that real quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly scroll through everything. Uh, 61 souls collected, which is, you know, it's respectable. It gets me the 3% bonus, and uh, pushing to 4%, really, it'll take quite a bit of time. Um, but I have all of the corrupted creatures, which is nice. Uh, two of the three dragons here. Uh, actually, of all of the other dragons, I believe, uh, unless there's, like, red dragons, maybe? Oh, yeah, red, blue, and green dragons aren't there. Uh, yeah. And then uh, all of the axe that I have access to. Um, I believe that one is gorilla. Yeah, that'll be gorilla. And then the uh, imperial guys. And then the three new growth creatures. I'll get those eventually. All right. Throw that back where it belongs. I have a whole lot of urns that I made up uh, just for general skilling purposes, and a few infernal urns that I'll probably make more of uh, as I do Slayer over time. A bit of Dreadnips, and then lots of skilling supplies that I just use from time to time. So I've got my Exoskeleton Suit with the Arty Cloak 4, uh, my Pantheon Aura, Supreme Jack of Trades, uh, Damonheim Aura, Ring of Kinship, you know, uh, Fishing Rod Omatic with the Fishing Cape, uh, like Varrock Armor, stuff like that. Um, then I've got a wise three here on my augmented crystal pickaxe, which is what I run around with most of the time. And uh, my catalyst fragment and whatnot for shadow touched training from Slisk's endgame. Um, also have my flame gloves, ring of fire with an augmented crystal tinderbox, augmented crystal hammer here, and augmented crystal hatchet. Scroll on through, or just click to the next tab. Here are my summoning supplies. Uh, just broke 10k Crimson Charms today, which is pretty nice. Uh, 4,200 Blue Charms. Got a bit of Spirit Shards saved up, which I probably should have sold just to make my cash stack look better at the end. Yes, it's I emptied it just to put it into the last tab. Suspense. I uh, got some 
pieces here that I've been collecting over probably about three Night Hill tasks now, which is nice. And uh, from time to time, I'll go buy out all of the, the Yak store. I uh, have to do that quite a bit if you're going to go for 200 mil uh, summoning, so may as well bank up those supplies. On to RC. Um, these are just general... My runes in order, I think uh, this is actually the order in which you can make them, uh, from here to here. Then I have the combination runes, uh, blood... I don't actually know, I think I, I, think I did it in order of, of when you can make them. I can't remember. Uh, but these have been stacking up over time, which I like. I appreciate uh, that as a drop from, I think, the Moss Golems now. I've got lots of Chaos Runes, Mind Runes, uh, from just, well, this is from Shop Runs, but these are both from Barrows. Then uh, all of this is just from purchasing it at Shops. Yeah, pretty basic stuff. And uh, two Mud Battle Staves is good to note. Also about 800 Vizwax. On to here. Uh, this is my PVM tab, just, I need gear, let me go to this tab. Uh, so yeah, I've got my auras in here, got my sun spear, uh, all of my combat gear, which I showed off in that nifty little intro thing, if you want to go back through it. I got my Nox bow, augmented, augmented Nox staff, augmented dragon rider lance, then my armadil, my subjugation, bandos chestplate, still missing tacits, uh, corrupted slayer helm, uh, I've got my Void Range gear. I'm still missing the other two helmets. I'm not sure if they're really used that often, uh, but I may go back and get them at some point. Uh, Amulet of Souls, Reaper Necklace, Luck of the Dwarves, Cinderbane Gloves, and Nightmare Gauntlets. These are all uh, pretty good things to have. And then just lots of repeats up here. Got some Death Lotus darts. I got my ammo up here, Dragon Bane Bolts and Arrows, Royal Bolts and Araxite Arrows, which I normally keep and my tier 1 quitter. Uh, that if I move on to the next tab, this is just drops and stuff. So it starts with the gems, which are starting to look pretty nice. 1.1k uncut diamonds, almost 800 uncut dragon stones. There's some nice crafting. My divine charges, 328 of those. And uh, energies, pretty much in order of when you can collect them. Uh, then ore is in order of which you can mine them. Same with bars. Uh, then food, which is in order of healing, or when you can cook them, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, then I've got my logs, which are exactly the same. Uh, it's nice to have uh, these maples, and I've got like three weeks of miscellaneous saved up now, so that, that, that stack's quite a bit bigger. Uh, I also collect mahoganies in miscellaneous, so that'll go up. Uh, you logs, magic logs, corrupt magic logs, some nice stuff. Uh, shield bow unfinished stacks really <laughs> getting up there, 18k unfinished magic shield bows, and uh, 84k broad arrowheads, 93k feathers, uh, I go on those shop runs pretty much whenever I can be bothered to, um, trying to save up for, you know, higher fletching levels, uh, but it's only 135k a day, so yeah, it's kind of a lot of work to save up something like 200 mil. And then down here is just a lot of uh, other Slayer stuff. So here's the Dragonhide, which will be crafting XP. Uh, my Soft Clay to make more urns. And then, um, yeah, pretty much anything else I just throw down here into the bottom. And I sort it out over time. So like these Javelins I'll disassemble. These Bolts I will probably fletch and sell to a vendor or disassemble or something. Uh, here's a Herb Tab, which is pretty gorgeous in terms of uh, clean and grimy herbs. Uh, haven't made potions for a while. I do kind of whenever I need to, uh, only as much as I need to. Um, so I mostly only make uh, holy overloads, so searing overloads here. Uh, but got some more cella mushrooms from farming. And then, yeah, some really good stacks, like 2k Ranars, uh, 800 Toad Flax, <laughs> 1337 Snapdragons, that's fun. Uh, 1,200 Land Dimes, 1k Dwarf Weeds, 360 Torstal, and then the 2.6k Potato Cactus, and, you know, Grinwall Spikes from, uh, well, some of those are from Thieving, but most of them are from Doing Hunter. And if we go down here, I've got uh, one point, another 1.3k Grimy Dwarf Weed, 1.5k Land Dime, uh, 670 Avento, and uh, just lots of potions up here, about 1,500 super restores with 200 super restore flasks, uh, flasks from Rax. 
uh, lots of brew flasks, which I use at racks, use at raids, but still collect from racks. They still build up over time, which is really nice. And then lots of uh, just low numbers of potions, uh, one dose and two dose from PVM and from uh, thieving. And then lots of extremes up here that I'll put back together some point uh, into overloads. Farming tab, which is getting some nice XP down here, uh, but lots of herb seeds, which I seed decided for a while. Eventually, I'll get these stacks up from doing like Virewatch. Uh, basically, anything you get as herbs will go into this tab, Any, and everything else you need uh, for like overloads, I'll collect these seeds for. Um, yeah, and then getting lots of tree seeds down here, which is a pretty good amount of XP. Yeah, right, clue tab, uh, which is pretty sad now, especially with the easy, medium, hard, and elite left to do. Six full trisks, uh, but I only have a few uniques right now, uh, not too many. Most of them were disassembled for my luck of the dwarves, and I did it indiscriminately. I didn't do it on repeats or anything like that. I just destroyed things. So my collection is pretty weak right now. Uh, hopefully it will build back up over time, though. Maybe not too fast, because my bank is pretty full, actually. Uh, but it probably will build up over time anyway. And then the last tab, 67 mil. Bam. That's a pretty nice cash stack right there. I uh, got some pheromones, onyxes, a spider lug middle. Uh, some stuff from DK, stuff from barrows, which no longer counts. Uh, Ripper claw for the memes, you know. Uh, some god swords that I can put together. All of these keys and my signets. Oh, which are off by one now. Hmm. That's curious. Why did they move? Oh, I think I had rage fire boots up here or something like that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I got some dragon limbs over here, serenic scales. Magister kills, 118 of those saved up. Uh, just missing a Tertius Signet to finish my first bow, which will be really nice uh, sometime soon. Offhand Shadow Glaive here, uh, some various royal crossbow parts that I'll probably never use. My, my poor completion escape that I can no longer equip, but the fact that I bought it shows that I did comp at one point. Another shield left half here, there's the Armadale Buckler. A Rage Fire Gland, which is pretty nice. Crest of Saren, which is also pretty nice. And then some stuff from Ports uh, that I'll get eventually. Probably get more of those before too long. Yeah, that's my account. I also went through all of the pets earlier on. You can go back through my old videos if you want to and, and see when I get them. Uh, but I'll probably be putting up a video two weeks from now to commemorate... Uh, one year of video making, not just one year of my account, but one year of video making, and uh, show off all the nerdgasms, the pet drops, the big drops, the legs, the hilts. Maybe I'll get a fang by that point, too. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I just wanted to put together something kind of special uh, for, for this one-year anniversary. It's one year of my life is gone. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be putting up a new video then, part 8 of the post-comp series.